Hi, this is Palash Chakraborty, assistant teacher, Iskar High School and College. Welcome to my class. Om Namah Shiva. So, this is for subject Hindu religion and moral education, class 10, unit 10, lesson 11. Here we have a picture of a great religious personality. So from the picture we can guess our today's topic. So it's Sri Vijay Krishna Goswami. Here is a great man, Sri Vijay Krishna Goswami. So let's go through the text in detail okay it was the month of Shravan in Bengali year 1248 that mean 1841 AD it was the period of full moon the Hindu festivals of Sri Krishna swinging that mean Jhulan Jatra was going on at every Mandir of the Vaishnavs at Shantipura in Navadip. During such an auspicious hour, Vijay Krishna Goswami was born. His father, Ananda Kishar Goswami, was a faithful devotee. His mother, Sarnamoyi Devi, was also a pious and a kind-hearted lady. Okay. Then Vijay Krishna's primary education started in the village Patshala. He studied Sanskrit in Toll at Shantipur. Then he went to Kolkata for higher education and got himself admitted into Kolkata Sanskrit College. After that, Vijay Krishna was admitted in medical college at that time together with a few students from the council called Hito Sancharini. It was decided in the meeting of the members of the council that what one would think to be true would try one's best to do that. He also said that taking poita is a sign of caste system. At that time, it was brave deed indeed. Okay. That time, Brija Krishna had a contact with Brahma society. There was a change in his mind by hearing the speeches of Maharshi Devendranath Tagore and Keshav Chandra. He felt a feeling of Brahma religion and took Brahma religion. He took back Poita and his family didn't take it as normal did. When he arrived at Shantipur, they became angry with him. But Vijay Krishna had a strong feeling and confidence in his belief. So he came to Kolkata. Okay, so then the medical examination of Vijay Krishna was knocking at the door. He was preparing for the exam, but the Brahma society called him to preach. He preferred the responsibility of preaching than the bright future of doctor's life. He had known as the teacher of Brahma society. He preached Brahma religion in Dhaka, Barishal, Jashar, Kulna and some other places of India. Okay, 
then once he was staying in a place up north then he was attacked with serious disease that time he came round by dint of fate of sri loknath bamachari of barodi it made a deep impression in his life because of baba loknath and sri ramkrishna the sense of boishna arose again in him vijay krishna left brahma society the bombay religion then that time he with his family and followers fell in severe financial crisis then he established an ashram of gandaria of dhaka by the order of baba loknath okay Though Vijay Krishna established ashram in Dhaka, he often visited Kolkata. Once he went to Brindaban with his wife. There, his wife died of cholera. Then he went to Sri Khetra in Puri. There, he became famous very soon. His fame was also spreading away in the state. for that reason some local people who are irrespective of religion become jealous and one day gave him to eat poisonous laddu as a result he fell sick and breathed his last on sunday 22 jastha in bangla 1306 that mean 1899 ad so this is all about the text so from the text we have come to know about the brief life history of sri vijay krishna goswami now it's time to read some advices of vijay krishna here we go one cannot feel the works of god with jealousy in his mind if there is no jealousy in his mind for a moment he can feel god never speak ill of others speak the truth and always keep brahma religion always take the name of god by honest means always be careful of all the creatures never be proud of yourself keep believe in religious books and honest persons Okay that is all about today it's time to end the lecture so thank you thank you for watching the video stay safe and be blessed thank you